yours didn't look like that, um, you can just have a look at the code. Okay, I'm just taking out the stuff we needed to try that out. Um, we're gonna need it like it is now, later on. Okay, go to the input section now. This section is all about how what you do affects things. The keypad function tells the computer to be prepared for any input so we can use the arrow keys. Um, and what the half delay does is it determines the speed of the game and it means that you don't have to keep pressing the key to move. So you can just press it once and the snake keeps on moving in that direction. Okay. Then we type int c equals get and this gets a character and then switch C which changes the direction depending on what key is pressed. Okay, now we want to use the arrow keys to control the snake head. So we start. In the case that key left is pressed, set direction to left. And then break. Case key right. Direction is right. And break. Um, so on for up and down. is down break now if we want to have a key which can exit the game ie set game over to true we can do that too however there's a slight catch instead of just saying case Q we're going to use Q for quit instead of just saying case Q you have to use the numbers given on the ASCII table you can search that up really easily on Google and Q happens to be 113, so we go case 113, colon, game over is true, break. Now let's go to void logic. First, we actually haven't written the code to be able to move the head. Yes, we've said if we press the left arrow key, set direction to left, but you haven't actually changed the head's coordinate. Start off with switch dir, and in case the direction is left, decrease x, break. Case right, increase x, break. Case up, etc, etc. Um, now you might be thinking that this is wrong, surely if we want the head to go up we increase y, but remember that it works with rows and columns here. Okay, break, and the default is to break. Close curly brackets, and there we go. Now we're going to write the code which causes the game to end when you hit the edge of the arena. This is a simple if statement. And we put that after all of this. greater than the width or or it is smaller than 1 or 
y is greater than the height, well, or y is smaller than 1, then game over is true, i.e. if the head um, goes out of the arena, you die. Now we want the code which determines what happens when the snake eats the fruit. If x equals fruit x and y equals fruit y, i.e. the coordinates of the head are the same as the coordinates of the fruit, then your score must increase by 1 and the fruit must appear in a new place. So we're just gonna make the fruit appear in a new place. Okay, let's try this so far. Let's just add in a few things. Okay, one error. Hmm. Oh yes, oh, we need two equal signs. Okay, that, that's just to kill us. Steak, sorry about that. Should work now. Let's see. We haven't done anything about the tail, so we don't expect there to be a tail. Oh, that's good. It moves, the score increases, the fruit spawns in a new place. Great. And let's see if it dies. Yep. Okay. That's good. And if yours doesn't look like that, then just check you haven't left anything out. I'll just scroll through it. 